everyone, kamusta kayong lahat? So, ready na ba kayo for today sa ating bag lesson? Great! I am Teacher Lech, your teacher in arts for the day. So, please bring out your papers and pens and mag-focus na po sa ating aralin. So last time, we have discussed about digital printing. Again, what is digital printing? Very nice! So digital printing is the latest method of printing. It is a newer and latest method of printing involve the artwork being processed by a computer. So class, na alala niyo pa ba? Again, what are the benefits of digital printing? Very good. It gives high quality finish. Next, very nice. This is faster in any traditional method of printing. It has consistency in eco friendly. So now that we are fully done in discussing about digital printing, let us move forward to our next lesson, which is the printmaking. So class, if the digital printing is the newest or latest method in printing, the printmaking is the oldest way method of printing. An image in printmaking is transferred from one surface to another. So actually class, there are various kinds of printmaking. First one, we have the relief printing. Second, we have the intaglio printing. Next, we have the planographic printing. And the last one that we are going to discuss furthermore is the silk screen printing. So in this lesson, we are going to focus on silk screen printing. So class, what is silk screen printing? So a silk screen printing is a technique used by a wooden mesh to support an ink blocking stencil acquired using a stencil like ink onto another material like shirts, pouches, cups, or any material that can keep the image onto its surface. So using silk screen printing, nakakapag-print tayo through pagtagos ng ink through another surface. So mamaya, mas malilinawan pa kayo about that. As in most artworks, kailangan nilang class maging creative in producing or making your design. And make sure na yung mga napag-aralan natin sa elements and principles of arts and designs ay may apply mo doon sa mga ginagawa ng designs. Silk screen printing demonstrates the wonders of textile paint on a cloth to make a print. Sa printing technique na to, pwede nyo gamitin ang photo emulsion technique or the stenciling technique. So in this lesson, I am going to show you kung paano tayo makapag-print using the stenciling technique sa silk screen printing. So the screen frame is commonly made of wood, covered tightly with a fine mesh. So yung mesh na tinatawag, ito yung ating screen. Kung saan yung paint ay magpapass through it at mag-transfer ng image to another surface or yung ating material. So, pangalawa na kailangan natin, of course, is the ink or yung ating paint. So, meron kayong iba't ibang brands na pwedeng pagpilian sa inyong bibilhan para tayo makapag-print. So, madalas kong ginagamit dyan ay yung Tulco brand, yung mga rubberized ink, pwede yun, textile ink, and acrylic paint. So, next is the squeegee. Ito yung ating pang-spread ng ink doon sa surface ng ating silk screen. It is usually made of vinyl or rubber blade. Next, we need, syempre, yung ating material to be printed. So, pwede yung shirts or t-shirt, pouch, pwede cups, bags, or any cloth, pwede another paper, kung saan yung gusto ng print. So, class, kailangan natin ng cardboard or old newspapers, pwede rin gamit ng mga papel na. So, we will insert that doon sa loob ng ating tela later on or sa ilalim para hindi mag-transfer or mag-penetrate yung ating ink to another surface. Huwag niyong kalimutang mag-apron kung kinakailangan para maiwasan natin ang mga dumi na maaaring kumapit. 
kapit sa ating uniforme o sa ating malinis na tabi. We need an old or plastic spoon or spatula to scoop the egg. So, itong next ay hindi naman necessary, pero pwede rin kayong mag-ready ng hanger kung saan pwede nyo ihang ang inyong natapos na material or finished product or pwede rin namang hindi na gamitan ng hanger. Hi everyone! So, in this video, I want you to learn to print using self-screen printing or stenciling technique. So, first, let us prepare the materials. So, I have here the stencil cutter. So, itong kanya itsura. And make sure na pag ginamit na siya later on, ay dobling ingat dahil sa nakikita nyo. Masyado itong matalas at matulis. So, extra careful or magpatulong po sa mga mas nakakatanda. So, of course, we have the design. Isip kayo ng inyong design, ng unique design. So, ito po ang napili ko. I heart GMS or I love GMS. So, meron akong old cardboard. Diyan ko ilalagay mamaya yung ating design. So, whenever na kinakat ko later, ating design, hindi babakat doon sa table yung mga cuts. So, mapupunta lamang yung bakat doon sa cardboard. So, let us start na i-cut out natin ang ating design. Be careful lamang po sa pagkakat. Ayan, so makikita mo, magbutas na yun siya. So, sa design na to, ang color na kinat ko is yung color black. Once again, ang tawag sa technique na ito is stenciling technique. So, yun na po. Ayan, natanggal na yung ating unang design. So, in cutting your design, make sure na hindi nyo siya inaangat yung papel. Inaangat ko lang right now for the sake na makita nyo yung aking ginagawa. So, ito, nakat na yung ating heart. Ayan siya titirang papel. Yan. Dito mo pwede na ito so, we are done using this stencil cutter. So, itatabi na po natin siya for our safety. So, this uh, this is our design. The ink. Uh, suggest ko sa inyo na mas magandang gamitin sa mga silk screen printing is yung tool to brand. So, ito talaga yung ginagamit ko, students, sa pag-print ng t-shirt. So, so, before I used to do this as my business, nag-print ako nito, nag Tatanggap ako ng mga orders na nagpiprint ako ng kanilang mga shirts. So, in-stop ko lang yon dahil wala pa naman ako mga sariling equipments na malalaki. So, mahirap o mahirap or a disadvantage ng silking printing is mano-mano mo talaga siyang gagawin. Okay? Kapag ka-stenciling technique. Okay po? So, tabi mo na natin dito. I-ready na ang mga materials. This is the squeegee nga pala, students. So, um, alternate nito na pwede nyo gamitin is magkat kayo ng lumang slippers. Yes, slippers or lumang chinelas na may straight line na ganyan. Kasi ito rubber lang po ito eh. So, yun. Yun na ang kapalit nyo kapag kawala kayong ganito. Then, we have the spatula or the spoon to scoop the ink later. And we have this silk screen. It comes from different sizes. May mas maliit pa here, guys. And mayroong pang mas sumunod, medium size, and may mas malaki pa. 
So, ito, ang uh, magagpin lang natin ay same as size lang ng ating body. So, dito ipapatong later ang ating design. And of course, our material. So, napili kong material for this demonstration is a shirt. So, ito ang aking shirt. Yan, a white shirt. Ella, makalatag na siya. Mas maganda na meron kayong apron to keep us from any dirt or leakage of the ink. Maganda rin na nakatay ang inyong hair, hindi nakalugay, lalo sa mga girls, para hindi siya maging sagabal while you are working. Isa rin sa mga importanteng rule kapag ka ikaw ay nasa industry, gumagawa ka ng mga gantong bagay, make sure na naka-hair net or nakatay, like, like my no? Para hindi yan naging sagabal sa ating paggawa ng paper. Okay. Ang nilalatag ko na ang ating t-shirt. Ating material. Of course, students, huwag niyong hayaan na may kulubot. Ayan, ang nag-reading kao yung inyong Make sure na ready na ready yan ang pag-print. Para later on, ganda ang pag-print ng inyong design. So, next. You have to insert here sa ilalim, dito, sa pangalawa niya. Sa loob lang. Ng old newspaper or old papers, pwede rin karto. So, yan, learners. Uh, meron ako mga old papers here. I will insert these old papers here. old newspapers, cardboard, or old papers so that mamimake sure natin na hindi magpapenetrate yung uh, ink doon sa kapilang surface ng ating tele. ready na. Then, next, put your design about it. Make sure na you are very sure sa location kung saan mo ilalagay ang iyong design. And then, next, the silk screen. Ayan, learners. So, andito yung ating old newspapers or old papers sa ilalim. So, ito yung design, yung ating shirt. Ayan. So, dyan ko nilagay siya sa medyo center. And, sigurado na ako dyan. So, make sure na hindi nyo magagalaw later kapag ka kayo nagpiprint na. Then, ipapatong nyo ang inyong silk screen. So, yan. So, as you can see, learners, walang lumagpas na paper dito o walang makikita. Katulad niya, halimbawa, may ganyan kasing pagkakataon na may nakikita or kapos yung ating paper or design. So, you may use a tape or masking tape to cover this para later, kapag nilagyan ng ink, hindi lulusot dyan yung ating ink. Pero in this case, Ayan, like this. Wala naman siyang uh, kinapos na paper from our design. So, hindi ko na siya lalagyan ng tape. And then, pwede rin naman lagyan ninyo to make sure lang po. Okay? Dito sa sides. Lagyan nyo siya ng tape. So, pwede mo na yung lagyan ng ink. 
lalagyan nyo here later and then spread ng squeegee okay so yan nakaready na ang ating design this is prepared na already hindi ko na siya nilagyan ng tape kasi hindi naman nila magpas or kinapos let's open this ink ayan ang ating ink color blue or sky blue Then the spatula. Careful sa paglalagay. Put it here. Above. Wag directly dun sa butas ng ating design. Balik natin yung natira kasi sayang. Spread it again. Make sure na nalagyan lahat. Hindi ko na inibang kulay yung heart shape o yung symbol na red. Kasi gagamit ka ng another silk screen noon, another color. Patutuyuin mo muna yung unang mag-design. So, in this case, uh, dinirect, dinirecho ko na for this demonstration para may kita ko sa inyo papaano siya. So, pakita ko sa inyo. Ayan, spread natin kanina. And then, tanggalin mo na agad. na tayo ng ating shirt. Ito yung design. Pwede mo patong gamitin. Or dahil nagamit na, banlawan mo na siya kaagad. Para hindi tumigas yung ink dito sa ating silk screen. Ayan. So, nakita nyo ba? Hindi nag-penetrate yan sa kabila kasi meron tayong old paper. Siyempre, kung paano mo siya kinat, ganun din ang lalabas dyan. So, do not forget to wash or rinse your screen immediately. So, learners, you may use a hanger to hang this design or leave it just like this. At hayaan lang po natin siyang matayo. So, nag-enjoy ba kayo? Ang dali lang gawin ng silk screen printing, di ba? So for now, mas hasain pa natin ang natutunan ninyo.
once again what is printmaking. How about the silk screen printing? Very good! You also want to start having this kind of business someday? That's very nice to hear. So designing a t-shirt is another way to promote a place or product. So again, what are the steps in silk scan printing using the stenciling technique? First, gather your materials. Second, choose and create design. Third, prepare the frame and the screen. Then you can now print. Then rinse the screen immediately. And last, hang the material and let it dry naturally. Very nice! So I guess you are fully ready enough to take this short test. Arrange the right steps that applies and produces successfully screen print using the stenciling technique by writing numbers 1 to 6. So I will give you 3 minutes to answer this. I know you can do it. So let us answer this. Congratulations sa mga batang na kuha ng mataas na scores. And to those who got lower scores, babi tayo next time. So, alright, for your assignment, read our next lesson about photography. Alright, this is exciting. In your textbook, music and arts for fun 6, page 152 to 100. Thank you so much for listening. Again, I am Teacher Reg. Magkita-kita tayo ulit sa ating next lesson. Bye!